Dear entrepreneurs, never start a business with a loan. We never know the outcome of our effort unless we actually do it. Welcome to eCorner, where we talk about entrepreneurship, lifestyle, SME, and financial pathway. I am your host, Tufilos Obaibi. Yes, welcome back to eCorner. Well, today I'll be giving you all tips as entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs. Well, the first thing you need to consider, you know what might be going through your mind? It's not your logo. I say that again. It's not your logo. The first thing you need to consider is your mission and vision. And your mission and vision states what values you're bringing to the table, what problems you will be solving. This is one thing that makes you stand out, irrespective of if you are in the same niche with the next person. Remember, you're not the first person to start a business and you're not going to be the last person. So you need something that's going to make you stand out from the next person. And that is your vision and mission. Your logo is the next thing to consider. Well, when creating your logo, you have to carefully, carefully consider this because it's part of your branding. It is part of that thing that makes you stand out. Your logo has to reflect your mission and your vision in terms of the color and in terms of the written inscription you want to have on it. And take this as a wonderful tip. Whenever you want to create your logo, create a logo that will stand the test of time. I'll give you a quick example. Check top brands you know today. You understand? They have a consistent type of logo. There's a particular thing that don't change. Even if it comes to rebranding, they are still going to retain that particular inscription, um, particular thing that make them stand out over the years. So this is one thing you need to consider when creating your logo. Have this in mind. Always build like a Roman. Yes, I usually say this. Always build like a Roman. There is this saying, Rome was it built in a day. So always build like a Roman. Remember, start small. Always trust the process. Be consistent with it. Never start your business with a loan. Expecting it to rapidly spring up and start making that money. You understand? Always remember to start small. You understand? Starting small will give you um, a leverage will give you one thing, peace of mind. No one is going to be knocking at your office space. No one is going to be coming to your house to ask you to remit the money you borrow. Because trust me, starting a business is a huge step. And remember, starting a business is also a risk. Because you can't really project and say, in the next um, two months, three months, I should be able to get back the money I have invested in the business. So, always try as much as possible to do what? Build like a Roman. One crucial thing you also need to take to heart as an entrepreneur who wants to strive even in a harsh economy, you have to know your targeted audience. Reasons why businesses fail today is because they have no market need. As entrepreneurs, you should be able to do research. You should be able to have a feasibility study that allows you to know what your potential customers need, what questions are they asking, and what practical solutions do they need on their table. With this information, you'll be able to leverage on the market and also make profits. Come closer and listen to this. Take action never procrastinate what did i say never procrastinate take action today have like a to-do list 
which allows you to have either a short term or a long term goal and try as much as possible to achieve it. If it's to have to advance in learning new set of skills, do that. Networking, do that. Collaborating with other um, people, creatives in other niches or your same niche, do that. Remember, the world is advancing. The world is going from what it used to be before to what it is now. And trust me, it keeps on revolving. Try as much as possible to revolve with it as an entrepreneur. And the only thing that will make you do that if you start taking action today. Finally, entrepreneurs. You know, there's a saying that goes this way. Health is wealth. So, in a nutshell, entrepreneurs, take care of yourself. This cannot be overly emphasized. Entrepreneurs, take care of yourself. Like a pigeon word will say, body no be firewood. Try as much as possible to rest. Try as much as possible to have time for other things. You know, you are not working on a 8 to 9 or 8 to 6 schedule. You're working 24 hours a day because you are an entrepreneur. You are the alpha and omega of that particular business. So you work around the clock. So this is one reason you should have to set time for rest. You have to set time for recreation. You have to set time for health matters. Always try as much as possible to check in yourself. Go to the hospital, have a personal doctor, have a nurse, whatever thing you want to have, have them in check. Try as much as possible to strike a balance between work and your lifestyle. Yes, it's a wonderful time on eConnell today. Next time is going to be yet another episode showing on Official Guru TV. Please and please and please, I want you all to hit on the subscribe button, hit on the like, and also hit on the notification icon showing so that you can be able to get updated um, information about this particular show e corner showing on official guru tv please and please if you have any questions if you have um anything you want us to talk about you can also drop your comments on the comment section on official guru tv on our socials i'll be showing on your screen and for those who want to be a part of this show you can also send us an email at official guru 21 at gmail.com official guru 21 at gmail.com and also if you want to have an advert showing on this interesting show e corner you can also send us a mail on official guru 21 at gmail.com or you can send a message on whatsapp the number will be showing on your screen till i come your way next time i remain your wonderful host to philosophy Thank you very much.